Welcome back to another episode of the Everyone's Different Podcast. It's your boy T Jazz hosting with my boy Young Trench. Yes, sir. And we have a very, very special guest today. The one and only <laughs> Jess. Hello. Dude, this so, one's big. It's this, so cool being like having the mic this close. <laughs> bro, <laughs> yeah. This, this is a this is a lit setup. Oh, yeah. Thank you. This is crazy. Yeah, this this is wild, bro. We're literally in LA for a couple of days, brought mm-hmm. the whole setup, dedicated a whole suitcase for the whole podcast setup, brought Hell it out yeah. here. And uh I'm excited to have you, bro. This is I'm this hyped. is, this is hyped. big, bro. Uh, this is my this is my second podcast. I've second done. podcast. Second podcast. And really? second guest. Damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's dude, I'm actually so hyped for this. Cause like, bro. I watched you before I met you, so this is so fire. But, That's but, crazy. But this is a big one. So, but the thing is, though, is like, we flew out here mm-hmm. years ago to come to your house. Mm-hmm. Like, you let us in your house, let us stay at the crib for I don't even know how long. A while, and it was this Did was you like stay during there, December. Stay there? Like, we're I, like it might have been the your your Belinda, your Belinda yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. That's where it was. We stayed there. For, we stayed there for like. At least a week, I would say. So it was like, bro, that was yeah. a big deal for us at the time. <laughs> Tristan only had probably had like two hundred thousand subscribers or bro, something small. Wait, like no, that. But your Instagram was super popping, bro. Like, Instagram, your was, Instagram was like you like blew up so fast and like it was so dope because like no one was kind of like doing what you were doing, like especially with the layups, bro. Yeah, the layup yeah. that that was a, such a lit trend. Like, I mean, even when you came over that first time, like I was a fan of the like, yeah. all the Instagram shit you were doing. Yeah, I was like, no, this is super dope. It's crazy, bro. Because mm-hmm. like I, Instagram, like I never really made Instagram content or did yeah. like. Because I'm not. I mean, I've like I've gotten better at basketball over the years, but like you're like a hooper, hooper. Like you got the skills. Like I'm a hoop. Well, I appreciate <laughs> that. You, you do it. Right. You do it for entertainment. Like that's yeah. that's what it is, and for fun. Like, you're not you're not so serious about. You were never trying to get like a scholarship or anything like that. Yeah, that, yeah. That's the difference. Do you remember the one v one we did? I do. Bro, I, I, rem- like I remember two it or three specifically. In a row, like bank or something, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, I might actually change this <laughs> yeah, and, then, yeah. and then you just absolutely yeah. sauce me the rest of the game. No, it was like I, I remember it specifically because you hit like three threes <laughs> on me, and I'm like, "Oh man, I gotta turn it up." <laughs> I'm like, like I, I'm thinking in my head like, "Damn, Jesse can fucking <laughs> hoop, bro." <laughs> There's no way. It's like six zero starting off the game. I'm like, "All right, I gotta turn it up." But yeah, that was that was cool. That was fun. But um shit, how you been, bro? What's Dude, I've been I've been good, hella busy, but very very good, like in a great spot. Happy, doing well. Bro, congrats on all the success. Just won the streamy Yes, streamy of the year for Sports Creator. For Sports, sports Creator sports of the year. But yeah, thank you so much, bro. That... It's been wild this year. Bro, I knew I, I already knew this was going to happen. For you, like, I knew, like, you're about to hit 10 million subscribers. Yes. <laughs> but I knew your shit was going to go up. I don't know if it was, like, I've been telling you this for a while. You like, have. Like, maybe a year or two. I don't mm-hmm. I don't know, but. Especially when I went to Milwaukee, I remember you, you were just being like, you're going to go crazy. Like, you Well, I, I just knew because, you know, I, I come out here, whatever, I'm at your house. I see how you move, bro. I see how you do shit. I see how you get done. Get shit done. You have a full team of people. Like you take, <laughs> you take this shit very serious. Like to yeah. make entertaining quality content. Like I just knew. I was out here. I'm like, bro, this dude is gonna be so big on YouTube one day. It's gonna be ridiculous. And now you're about to hit 10 million subscribers. Dude, yeah, for, I mean, I appreciate all the kind words, but yeah, <laughs> it's an absolute madness. And like what you were saying with like the team and everything, it's like. Especially this last year is like when everything like super popped off because like yeah. at the beginning of the year I was at like three and a half million yeah and then I like kind of like changed everything up because I was trying to do a daily vlog I remember when I had I remember like being at three million and like pretty stuck with growth like yeah some months only getting like ten k subscribers and I was like how can I like work harder and do something like really big yeah and I had this whole like video that I was working on for a year which was like trading. A Pokemon card for Logan Paul's bus, and yeah, that was an like, amazing video. Yeah, and I was way. like, when I put that bad boy out, I'm gonna start my daily vlog. And like, I remember, like, I stopped my second channel. I was like, this is my final video. I'm daily mm-hmm. vlogging, and then I was doing the daily vlog every single day, and that was the hardest shit ever. And I only made it to like 24, 25 days, and then I got really sick with mono. 
Mm, I didn't even know what the fuck that was. Mono stops yeah. <laughs> everything. You yeah, know I what? thought I had Bro, the vid. wow, that's <laughs> actually crazy because you know the whole reason why I might have <clears throat> not played college basketball is because I had mono. Dead ass? I had, so my last, <laughs> my junior year of high school, I had mono mm-hmm. right as I was going to go play in front of like thousands of college coaches, like D1 college coaches. I was on a great AAU team. And I got mono, and all these coaches that were going to come see me, you know, you know how it is mm-hmm. at the NCAA Division One. it's a business, bro. If you don't, yeah. if you're not showing up and performing, you're scratched off the list. They're f- finding somebody new to replace my spot. But anyways, mono, like, messed that whole Dude, thing up. So back, back to, yeah, back to what you were saying, the mono. Dude, yeah, that was like, the, it's like, if you don't know what it is, basically, I think you get it. From like saliva sharing. Or oh yeah, or yeah, something like that. yeah. They but call it. They actually call it the, the kiss kissing disease. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those yeah. ones where you can only get like once or some shit. But I had like the worst sore throat times a thousand. Like it felt oh. like my throat. I was like inhaling like chainsaws. <laughs> it was horrible. That's a crazy analogy. Yeah. But then like I stopped <laughs> doing the daily chainsaw. vlog and like the daily vlogs like all were kind of underperforming compared to my like content I had before, which I would take like do two a week or whatever. Yeah. So then, like, when I was, like, really sick, I was like, all right, no more daily vlog. Like, even though I promised, I was like, I'm going to do it for the whole year So I got sick. And do then, you like, think it was because the quality of content was lower since you were pushing out so much? I think it was basically, like, with doing a daily vlog, like, every single video was really, like, made for my current audience. So it's, like, the intros would be, like, something that would be, like, inside jokes, kind of. So yeah, it's, like, yeah. When new viewers would come to the channel, they'd probably, like, watch it for a little bit, and they'd just kind of, like, tune out. Yeah, like, 100%. They don't mm-hmm. get so, the so you would be saying, like, shit that your current fan base would understand, but you're saying yeah. new viewers coming in would be like, what the hell is he exactly. talking about? And then just, like, without, like, the algorithm or whatever. So then it was, like, it wasn't getting pushed to new viewers, really, because the people who did watch it who were new didn't really, like, watch it much. Mm-hmm. So then I think that's when I was, like, I ended up talking to this dude named Patty. This dude's a legend. Okay. Patty Galloway. He's like a YouTube master by it. Okay. He's goaded. And we did like a consultation call and he like pretty much was like, we need to change the strategy. And I was like, let's do it. And I like listened to him and we like changed a bunch of stuff up. And then like everything just started going crazy. Like the long form videos started doing a lot better. Like we did like the going to three NBA games in 24 hours. That like super banged. And then those that are yeah. huge. All the videos with the NBA and the relationship with them. And then like all the growth though just came from when YouTube dropped shorts. Like, YouTube yeah. shorts are ridiculous. Like, it's literally, like, all from shorts, pretty much. Like, the long form has definitely done a lot better, but it's, like, all the shorts have just gone nuts. Yeah. What yeah. was the thing that, like, made you really want to switch into, like, this new content? Because I feel like it was a very big jump for you. Like, everything started going up, like, crazy with all this new stuff. Yeah, it was definitely, like, I had the shorts. I made a shorts channel instead okay. of, like, posting shorts on my main channel because it's what, like, everyone was doing. And yeah, yeah. Like, I did the same thing. Yeah. So then, like, I was just reposting my TikToks, but I never put that much time into yeah. TikTok because I was, like, long-form videos better in YouTube. And they never did, like, that well, the TikToks. But, like, some of them just started banging, like, on my shorts channel. And, like, the shorts channel gained, like, a couple hundred thousand subscribers. So then I was, like, like why don't I just post it on the main channel? And then... I did one exploding of basketball and it yep. just went like so dubby. Like it's so ridiculous. And then everyone started like blowing up balls and shit. Yeah. And then, like, the blowing up basketballs has gained me so many subscribers. It's ridiculous. But yeah, it was when I put out that video, it, I think it's had like 40 million and then everything just like popped off. And I was like, I need to keep doing this. So yeah. why what, would I not keep doing hell this? Yeah. What's the most viewed short that you have right now? I think it's, breaking like the wood blocks or no no it's um sorry not that one it's how many layers of wrapping paper could stop a human being with oh yeah ben azelart he was in it and he's he he kills it on short form content too his videos are super dope but that yeah that one has like 50 million it's ridiculous wow and how many subscribers did that video bring you i think that one i haven't checked it recently but maybe like three or four hundred thousand like what from one video bro like what one short bro Holy i shit. was expecting you to say like 30 or 40k oh my god three to four hundred thousand yeah it's fucking it's absurd bro like, wow shorts, bro. like <laughs> if you're not posting shorts bro, okay so OP. when you when you look at your analytics like now compared to a year ago how does it feel oh my god it's like it's <laughs> surreal like bro it's literally like in october it was like two million subscribers i'm like yeah 
I'm like, I, I was feeling hella imposter syndrome because it's like I've been doing YouTube. Yeah, since you're like, like that's not 2014, me. like like you just slow bro. and consistently 10, 20, 30k subs a month, and then it's like to grow more in a month than I did over the course of like five, six years. Yeah. It's just like, bro. And it's also the question where it's like, you know, are these new subscribers like, do they even watch the long form? Do they stick around? Like, yeah. There's so many like questions yeah. to it, but it's just like, it's the new meta. So yeah. it's just like, <laughs> that's what yeah. it is. Well, what yeah, it is. <laughs> TikTok came in, right? Mm -hmm. And now, you know, you got Instagram pushing reels. Mm -hmm. You got, youtube doing shorts there's even facebook reels that yeah. go crazy right like mm -hmm. snapchat spotlight like all these like other social media platforms are trying to do what tiktok did mm -hmm. how do you feel about that like instagram like i feel like it's weird for for me i don't know about you but like when i post a video it might go way crazier than just a picture mm -hmm. but yeah, I feel like Instagram has just been so like such an L like lately. Like pictures it's like, are like stay so in your dead. own lane. Pictures yeah, thing, bro. Like, like it was pictures at first, and now it's like you're literally mm -hmm. trying to be like TikTok. Yeah, it's like what I also hate about Instagram. Like if you're to be a creator on Instagram, it's like Instagram will put out these like bonuses. They'll be like whatever, like how many plays you get for your reels, and it's like. Whenever I would post like an original piece of content onto Reel, it would never perform. Mm -mm. But then I'll use just like a, a dumb face filter and it will get like 10 million views. And I'll be like, bro, like it's like I try to put effort and make a dope piece of content. It doesn't perform. And then it's like I use this dumb like the filters like they're so dumb and you can just spam them. And it's like, yeah, it, it's like Instagram is pushing the content on Instagram. And it's like it's yeah. not good content. I yeah. feel like compared to, like that they're trying to push. Yeah. See, one thing I find interesting is I've never seen someone put the effort into, like, YouTube shorts that you do. Like, you will have, like, an entire different thing while you're filming a regular YouTube video to, like, set aside to do this for YouTube shorts. Like, yeah. a completely different thing. Definitely. I think I think that's why Jesser's different, bro. Like, he, you, <laughs> you, bro, you are different with this short shit. I appreciate like, it. You, you, <laughs> it's like, you are paving a way for a lot of other people because now everybody is going to try to like well not everybody but like you know people mm -hmm. see what you're doing and they're like all right how can i do this mm -hmm. like even me like i wasn't trying to go explode you know basketballs like you i don't want to copy your ideas but like i can go and make a short explaining how i hit this crazy trick yeah. shot and there's how so many, many tries there's so many different ways you can do this shit but mm -hmm. your shit is just different bro I appreciate that. I think it's because, like, I was able to do better because it's, like, if you look at TikTok, it's very, like, personable content. Like, anybody can have a viral TikTok, and it's, like, lower production, but that's, like, kind of what hits on TikTok. Like, the yeah. higher production stuff don't always hit, but it's, like, I feel like YouTube shorts is, like, the viewers of YouTube, like, they watching, like, long-form videos a lot of times have, like, a lot more production. So mm -hmm. it's, like, so many YouTubers who would, like, do great long-form are just crushing it on shorts because they're, like, putting the same, like, team or, like, same effort into yeah. the long-form, like, into the short-form. So I feel like... And like, I was inspired by so many, like, there's so many great shorts creators out there that are, like, just killing it, especially with, like, long form and short form. Like, mm -hmm. Arak's doing great with it. Brownie, if you watch, like, lifting I was going to ask so if you were sick. inspired by Arak at all, because I can almost, like, I can feel that you must watch Arak or Mr. Mm -hmm. Beast with the way that you're, yeah. like, formatting your stuff. You're, you're, like, it seems like you're taking your content and, like, doing what those guys do are doing mm -hmm. but in, you know a, com in a completely different but way in your in your own way and it's like it's just crazy bro it's, cra <laughs> it's crazy to fucking see honestly <laughs> yeah definitely taking heavy inspiration from them because like they yeah their production value is insane bro mm -hmm. I'm, like especially like Iraq, i'm like bro i'm watching his video and i'm like dude like you have like there's like 50 paid actors in this yep. yeah they're coming out of nowhere <clears throat> i'm yeah. like bro like how are you coordinating all like it's yeah. like their productions, like, I'm, like, just thinking about them. It, like, hurts my brain. I'm, like, yeah. but it's so dope when it's, like, yeah. full on. Because, like, it's it's different for me and Trent because, you know, we, we've we seen you go from, okay, one camera guy filming a 1v1 <laughs> in the backyard to, like, four camera guys, one with a stabilizer, <laughs> one's on the fucking roof, one guy's over here, mm -hmm. and there's a main camera, and you got three GoPros on the back of the fucking rim and the... Like, yeah, rest in peace to the editor. <laughs> yeah, like, I know, bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I can think bro. of. Like, oh my, oh gosh. my gosh, bro. Like, it, it's just cool to see that. 
Yeah, how from, many people are on your team right now? What's what's the employee? How many how many employees do you have now? So we have like eleven people in person right now, and then full time online people. We might have like I don't know the exact number, maybe like six, and then like a bunch of contractors. So maybe around like twenty to thirty people if you count like the part time. Cool. Just yeah, like I think people. I was talking to Jason, and he's like, "Yeah, we're up to like thirty employees, but like, how do you?" how do you like organize that? How do you know, like, I got to pay this person this, I got it. Like, how are you sleeping at night? Yeah, so, like, how, so how you, how you mentioned like, um, Jason. So he grew up with me. He's like a good friend of mine. So I, I, he started like as an assistant. And then like, as I was like becoming a bigger company, um, he became like the COO. So it's like, I mean, I'm not paying anybody. Like I don't do the payroll or like, I'm trying to have him do, like, all of the, the business stuff, like, getting our office warehouse. Like, I didn't do anything there. Like, so, like, all the, like, business stuff, because we're uploading so much that it's, like, I just want to make the videos, but it's also being able to grow. Like, I wouldn't be able to do it without him kind of running the business stuff. And then it's just on top of that, just having so many great people on my team where it's, like, um, or having, like, uh, leaders on the team who can, like, lead their area. Or, like, for example, like, my second channel, the guy who runs that, like, he fucking or my reaction channel, he, like, crushes it. Like, it's – he, like, just had a lot of experience. So, it's, like, I have a lot of – people are solid on the team. And then it's definitely a huge learning process because we yeah. had, like, a, at a point earlier in the year, we had this many employees, and then we, like, cut down quite a bit, and then we, like, went back up. It's just – it's such a learning curve because, like, I, I didn't even finish high school, so, like, I'm just still learning on everything. And it's yeah. just, like, one thing that helps is, like, we got a business consultant. So, we, like, meet with him who has, like, a bunch of companies and yeah. just learning, like, structure. And it's just a lot of learning. Yeah. right now but wow, he bro. runs most of the business that's stuff. what's crazy like it's it's so much of a learn as you go process mm -hmm. and like with how big y you've gotten so fast in like what the last year right mm -hmm. literally bro uh, do you <laughs> last do, like <laughs> what do you yeah, ever <laughs> eight months do you enjoy filming the content you're filming more now than you did uh two years ago because I know it's, that's a it, good question. it's a lot yeah, harder, a I would assume. That's a good question. I feel like I enjoy them both. Like, I don't know if I could pick one or the other. Yeah. God, it's so hard to remember. Like, what was I even doing? Like, yeah. What videos was I making? Maybe, like, who makes the best, like, pizza food? Yeah, exactly. Like, it, just simple things yeah. like that. It like, really where you didn't have video. to put so much behind it. Like, I, I would assume that there's probably gratifying things about both. Mm -hmm. Like, one is, like... Oh, cool. We can just pick up the camera and go. But one is probably you're just like, damn, we just did this huge thing. That's so sick. Yeah, yeah it's definitely tough. Cause some of the videos we're doing now, it's like it genuinely takes a, a long time to film it. But then it's like when we do a video that's like we can film all in one day. We're all like, holy shit. Like, we just filmed that bitch in three hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What the fuck? What just yeah. happened? <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it was actually mind blowing when I was at your house. We were doing uh, not this, you know, the other night for the christmas video but mm -hmm. um the last time we were here we filmed a hide and go seek video i f i forgot or maybe that was for moochie's channel i filmed a video on your channel mm -hmm. and someone is handing me a script oh yeah <laughs> and i'm like wait this is a s <laughs> like a th and it's a thick it's a th it was pretty thick bro <laughs> yeah it was a <laughs> we had a script phase for sure <laughs> bro and i'm like bro you guys are making your youtube videos like you're making a a script before mm. like that was even crazy for me to see yeah so like this script will be like um it would kind of be like usually when we, we write a script it's like we'll write out like the whole intro and everything mm -hmm. just to make sure like because the intro is like the most important part of your video because it's like 100 percent of the people are watching in the yeah. intro so it's like and it drops off fucking fast if, yeah yeah I, so trust like, me really i mean yeah that's in, the, so that's the like, thing i can tell you're so focused on your intros are like <laughs> you get into your videos within six seconds like you're already doing whatever the fuck you just yeah. said you were about to do yeah, that's the, yeah <laughs> the intros are like they're so it's like you gotta kind of like script it out because like if you don't it's kind of like yeah you know like it can hurt you like it I feel like, like, it was really only up until this year, like, I was, like, really, like, focused on, like, retention grass and everything and just, like, yeah. making the storylines. But, like, yeah, the intro is, is very important. Well, <laughs> so, it's, well, like, I want to script out the intro and then, like, in-depth script out the challenges. Or In the scripts, we'll have, like, all right, drone shot, like, here. Like, so, mm -hmm. kind of, like, pre-plan it out. Because a lot of times, like, if you don't 
pre-plan out the shot so you just won't get them a yeah. lot of times. So trying to pre-plan out a lot of camera stuff helps. Yeah, bro. That was that was crazy when I seen the script. I was <laughs> like, there's no way. Bro. <laughs> bro is filming a movie right now. This ain't even a YouTube video no more. This is like a movie. Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> like for just like such a simple basketball video. <laughs> yeah. Script. No, that, that shit was crazy. So how, what is your, like, your daily schedule looking like? The daily schedule? Like, like how, has that, getting to where you're at now, has your, have you had to be more, like, strict? Like, oh, I got to get up at this time every day. I got to eat at this time. I got to film at this time. Like, what is, give me, like, a a daily film, like, Jesser day. A daily? Yes, yeah, so, I mean, my schedule has gotten just a lot more strict i guess in terms of just what time i have to wake up and stuff just because like we're trying to hit all these upload goals to finish the year but so next year i'm trying to like not do as many videos because right now we're posting like daily on both channels so i'm like all right let me chillax but right now i said i guess a daily schedule would be like i don't know like wake up at like seven maybe a little earlier maybe a little later and then i'll try to leave my house and go to my office which is 20 minutes away like 30 40 minutes to try to get to like the warehouse at eight and then record like one or two jsr videos like check all the stuff i need to catch up on or whatever but yeah usually filming jsr videos and then then everyone usually pulls up we all meet at 10 30 and then we're either filming the shorts for the day or then or if we're doing a long form video then we might i don't know we'll usually go to the location or because we don't really film the long forms at the warehouse so we usually film most yeah. of them at the house but yeah yeah, after, like, I film the JSR videos, then it's, like, either shorts or a long-form video pretty much for the rest of the day. And then just go home, like, chillax with the roommates and Hell my yeah. girlfriend. I also vibe. really like the JSR channel, by the way. I feel... Let's I, go. I, I actually, Thank you. I think I prefer that channel because I feel <laughs> like it's you just, like, kicking it. Like, and I really like yeah. watching those. I think those ones are super entertaining, and like the videos you watch are always so fire. <laughs> the montages, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I like that Bro, channel a lot. It's even cool to see like that because I've I've peeped that recently too, and the numbers on that channel are going crazy. Dude, it's crazy, bro. It's I can't crazy, it. bro. It's th- crazy. Your yeah. your, <laughs> your studio on that channel is so the background is so dope, and I always yeah. love you like. You're That's asking so LeBron fire, questions. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that shit. That's, That's so, so fire, funny, bro. Dude, like, hell yeah. No, thank you. Dude, that I, is crazy. That channel, like, does more long-form views than the main channel does. Really? But I also post, like, almost daily on that. Yeah, you yeah. do post but on there a lot. like, that's crazy that the second channel is, like, doing better in that aspect than the main channel. Yeah. Yeah, because those are relatively low effort. Does your... How do those work? Does your, like... Do you have someone finding the videos for you, or are these just comp- compilations you find on YouTube? Yeah, so we have, like, a couple guys that will make the compilation. Okay. And then they'll, like, basically upload it to, like, YouTube, and then we'll test if any of the clips get copyrighted. And mm-hmm. then, like, once that's clear, then I'll react to that's it. That's very smart, because I know that that could be a bitch if you had to get, like, <laughs> like you have, like, four videos copyrighted oh in my this God, video or word. something. Yeah. Dude, and one of them did get copyrighted, because I was, like, doing some sports video, and I was like, oh, I remember this NFL play that happened. So I, like, looked up the NFL play to, like, react to it in the video. And then that clip got copyrighted and i was like the only time Damn. i got a copyright claim is like when i went out and yeah, looked and you, clips, so yeah. i'm like i'm banned from looking up clips <laughs> like that so the people must be checking pretty well on like what's what's going to be copyrighted or what's not yeah because yeah, when they upload it like if it gets copyrighted then they'll just take out whatever but yeah your second channel videos are so like like quick to the next thing i feel like mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like the editing style on that like mm-hmm. The way you're editing it makes a person like want like have to watch it to the end. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's just like he's like no time to click off. <laughs> it's well, yeah. like it's definitely heavily inspired by like you know Mr. Beast reacts like the way he does his. Definitely took like heavy inspiration on like the editing style. But yeah, it's just that like I feel like it's that YouTube pace almost yeah. like that a lot of videos have gone to, and I feel like it's uh it's a lot better for reaction content than other types of content because reaction content is just like clip 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 yeah There's not that many like slow moments in a reaction video unless yeah like, or I guess it really just depends on the styles there's so many different yeah. styles well you can I do. like those videos because I'm like a big fan of KSI for example mm-hmm. and I feel like it's very similar to that where it's just like you just get to see your personality more because when you're doing these videos on your main channel it's not so much about your personality mm-hmm. more than like what the hell is going to be as entertaining as possible. And I feel like that focuses on you, just like what you think is funny, what you mm-hmm. think is entertaining. Yeah. 
So I really like that type of stuff because I feel like that's Thank where you, it bro. draws you into you as a human. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's yeah, dope. And, and it's crazy because I didn't even know um, about that. Kind of <laughs> the stuff. reaction channel. <laughs> well, no, like I didn't know that style of editing. Oh, okay. So, like you know, obviously some of our content is a little bit different. If I'm playing five on five basketball and you're doing a hide and seek mm-hmm. or whatever, but um, you know, I just feel like, um, yeah, I don't know your style of editing. I didn't understand it. I flew out <laughs> here, and then you. S- I sat down with you, and there was this guy that was there that literally flew in for a day. It was like a consultant or oh, something. Oh yeah, <laughs> Trent. Yeah, and he's Shout and Trent. yeah, <laughs> and he's like, oh dude, he's like, you don't check your analytics on your YouTube channel, and I'm like, no. <laughs> he's like, what do you mean? He's like, you're not looking at like the retention like this yeah. when people are clicking off your video why people are clicking on your video and i'm like no he's like bro are you stupid <laughs> and i'm like well, not, not like not <laughs> well not not like that but you feel me like mm-hmm. and i was like yo jesse what is he talking about and you're like bro jesse literally i think you might have pulled it up on my youtube studio on my computer you're like click on the video go to here scroll down and you can literally see a graph mm-hmm. of Okay, 100% are watching here, and then it slowly just, like, dips off. And then some videos, obviously every video is different, yeah. but I had no idea about that shit. Yeah, for those who don't know, like, in the YouTube analytics, it will show you a graph of, like, what percent of people are watching. And, like, say there's, like, an ad. Like, that thing is just going to go, like, down 20%. Like, yeah. it will show you. So you can kind of, like, if you look at them every video you post, you can, like, just be like, okay, every time I do this, like, people dip. So it's just, like... When you like keep doing that, it's, and it's like, why would I even put this in the video? It doesn't make sense. Yeah. yeah. Huh. It's very, very interesting because, like, I've never done that shit. Mm-hmm. Dude, it's essential. Because, like, especially, like, I was listening to all the Mr. Beast podcasts, and this dude is always talking about, like, retention yep. guys. 100%. And like, I watch everything. Video. So I'm like, I watch them, I'm like, okay, this is what Mr. Beast is doing. Like, something, something's up. Like, I, because I didn't look at analytics too, like, the first, like, only until, like, the last. I mean, I looked at them, but I didn't really, like, know what the hell i was looking at yeah and i was just like making videos like whatever goes but then it's like in when i like met with patty like he taught me a bunch of different things about it and he like helped us with that and i've had other people i'm like all right let me hire people who know what the hell they're talking about yeah. so i could like figure this out too and then yeah, yeah like learning about that has definitely like helped because it's like it really is like a game at the end of the day yeah in a so, way. so you'd say by you, you know, sitting down with your team or whatever, mm-hmm. looking at the analytics, figuring out like, okay, this may make people click off the video. Mm-hmm. This will keep keep people watching the video. You would say by looking at that stuff definitely helped you to just keep yeah, growing. Without a doubt. I feel like it was definitely like a major, a major help. A hundred percent. Basically like watching how Mr. Beast does stuff. I know his big thing is like, you know, he takes a lot of his money that he makes on his videos and he puts it right into the next video or yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Are you guys kind of like following that like style of thing? Like, yo, we're going to invest into this video and like, like th- that type mm-hmm. of style. Yeah, it's definitely like I always saw him say that shit. And I was like, I want to I want to try that this year at the beginning of the year because like. At this point, like, in my career, I've been doing this for, like, a decent amount of time, and I've been, like, very blessed to be able to, like, do it at, like, a high level. And, like, at this point, I was, like, I have, like, investment properties. Like, I feel like I have, like, kind of the things. I I got my dream house, so I'm, like, I'm chilling. So I was, like, this year, like, I don't really care to make money on it like that. I'm just going to put everything, like, back into the team. And that's kind of, like, the way I was able to get all these employees because it is so expensive bro like i'm just oh, I too bet. much it's, it's insane yeah. how much i'm spending like it's baffling but like for this year me personally like i'm probably gonna make the least i've made in the last couple of years for mm-hmm. me but i mean the growth and everything in the company yeah. like grew so it was definitely it was it was worth it it was like what i wanted to do but yes i'm investing a lot back into the yeah because you gotta you know obviously get certain props and shit mm-hmm. rent out certain spaces on top of paying your employees and putting money aside for taxes yeah and, like, and also just, having this warehouse that you have as well yes the having like, a warehouse the like, warehouse is awesome yeah i've never been we gotta pull up i know never been to the warehouse. i'm gonna build a basketball court in there you are really? so once i get the basketball court built you gotta pull are up. are you putting a wooden floor in yeah 
Ooh, okay. So we we gotta hit the crazy lay in there. Oh, one hundred percent, yeah. bro. We gotta do a whole Easily. video. That's Easily. Easily. Hell yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. No, have you seen Dude Perfect announce their, like, new headquarters? Did you see that? Bro. No. You yes. You see that trend? No. That shit was crazy. Damn, I'm, I'm behind. I'm talking, like, the most futuristic shit you'll ever see, bro. It's going to be, like, I think it's going to be, like, a theme park. I'm pretty sure they got, like, restaurants in there. They have a 300-foot trick shot tower, whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. That sounds lit. So this is, like, for the public? I think so. Because they also have, like, mini golf or regular golf. Yeah. I don't know which one it was. It, I don't know what they're doing, but it's they're like, yeah. goaded, bro. Yeah, did you know they have their own cruise? There's a dude perfect cruise. No what? way! Like you can go on cruise with them. Bro. Yes, bro. Man. They they low key <laughs> like are on some other shit. Bro, too, I swear bro. we don't they're talk OG. about them enough. Bro, those are some basketball gods. Oh my <laughs> god, they're, they're, the, they're the trick, trick shot, shot gods. Goats, bro. Like that's yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, bro. So you're from california right yes. where where are you from where did you grow up so like, i grew up uh it's kind of like on the outside of la it's in westlake village very nice area very blessed to grow up out here okay but yeah and i like my house is like 10 minutes from where i grew up okay oh, that's I, think nice. I was born in santa monica though so is uh james slash that jadel your only sibling mm-hmm. and okay. he's four years older than me he's four years older mm-hmm. okay so you're the younger brother i'm the youngest man Cause I I remember uh, I remember back when you did the diss track on James and you, and you said <laughs> oh, you, no. you, you you said uh, you said you were the favorite son. Uh, so are, my are, mom's favorite. Are you uh, you're, you're, are you are you the mama's boy for sure? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I respect that so much. <laughs> you are too. Oh, one hundred percent. How many siblings do you have? Uh, okay, so I have one on my mom's side, but then mm-hmm. I have. Three on my dad's side, but I never really got to see mm-hmm. them that much. We were just separated. Is the one on your mom's side a uh, boy girl? He's a it's a it's, he's a boy, but also he's fully white as well. Different. <laughs> he's different. <laughs> <laughs> he's different. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's a uh, it's an interesting little dynamic we got going on. I love it though. My family's amazing. That's awesome. How was how was your at home life? Right That's now, a good question. it's me, my girlfriend, my boy Jason, and my guy Rizzle just moved in from the UK, who I absolutely love. He's like, oh yeah, one of my best that friends. was. And then when I heard him talk for the first time, I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, he's so British. Jesse's bro. got yeah. the foreign employees. So, <laughs> yeah. Explain who Rizzle is, though. Yeah, so Rizzle, um, he's like the head of my production now that he moved uh, out here. But he's been working me for me for a couple of years now. He like, um, he's just pretty much on like hella stuff for the post-production process. And Mm -hmm. then he would come out for like a month or two from the UK. And like, we just got along like so much, like it became like really tight. And then we worked for, we got failed getting the visa the first time. Like they denied him. Finally we got him a visa. And then now he's here for 18 months. Damn. Yeah. We're like super tight. He was a cool guy. I really liked him. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to filming stuff like that Christmas stuff, you have like, you have like, 10 people with us at once um what what's like what are these people designated to do (laughs) i don't like i don't because like some there's so many people there i'm like what the hell is this guy's job it's a lot different from filming a (laughs) jesser youtube video yeah four years i think i think back to when i was in the christmas video in like 2000 and like 19 i'm like what the? F- where am I right it now? It's all tripods. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck <laughs> yeah. is this? This is crazy. Tripods. Now uh, it's just like two people over here with that. Two yeah, I mean, if you, I could, if you want me to go through like everyone's role, like I don't know. I, I kind of want to hear what you have <laughs> it's, these well, people it's, doing. Bro, it's interesting because people people don't understand like how much goes into this. Well, it's it's a f- you're running a multi multi million dollar business like. Mm-hmm off of content and it's a whole new thing like the older generation there's a lot of people that don't understand it so maybe maybe (laughs) maybe if you do break it down that'd be that'd be kind of nice because like i think it's dope also because like you in a tough economy like you're creating a decent amount of you have 20 jobs under you like that's crazy yeah yeah i guess the different roles are like Got my boy AJ, who's like a PA. My boy Trav is the can- he does. He's like the head of the cameras. Like Efron recently joined my team, who's in a lot of my videos, and Hell he's yeah. like an act. I guess an actor technically. Yeah. Okay. But he also does a bunch of other stuff. Like he is 
fantastic photographer so he'll do like the pictures for the apparel or he'll do um like he's very organized so like set stuff up um my boy rizzle he's like kind of like the head of the production he's like leading the team like telling everyone what to do where to go like making sure we're hitting deadlines and a lot of people that work with you in that are on the channel they also have channels as well right a couple of them okay johnny has a channel okay yeah he definitely does have a channel but yeah he's like the main one who kind of consistently posts okay yeah and like for example like like um me and mitchell work together so like yep the company that runs my channel I guess my company also runs Mitchell's channel. Okay. So, like, Johnny helps with Mitchell's channel, too. But he's okay. also, like, in my videos, and he's also, like, helps write out, like, the scripts and the, all that kind of stuff. So, it's, like, a lot of people, like, are will have, like, a, everyone has, like, a couple different roles, but, like, what they're good at. Yeah. Like, and you mean Sarah. Mitchell as in Moochie, right? Yeah. Moochie. Okay. See, I would like to say. The video you guys did where you initiated him into two hype was one of the coolest videos that was, I've ever that seen was in my life. One of the best moments. <laughs> it was so special. Yeah. That was like, one of the coolest yeah. videos I've ever seen, and it was so, <laughs> dude, it was so legendary because as he gets this cake and he just drops it. Oh my god! <laughs> yes. That was just the most perfect way it could have went, and it didn't make sense for anyone but Mitchell. Yeah, I, I loved that. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, and then for those who don't know the way we um initiated into it, it was his birthday. So we like threw a surprise birthday party, but we all like spent a couple thousand each. <laughs> like just getting you presents. <laughs> like you're spending a couple thousand. You get crazy ass gifts. And it's mm-hmm. like we all went one by one, like all all of us just like giving him all these lit gifts. It literally took an hour for him to open all of them. And we were just like, we were all drinking, like it was definitely like a very special moment. Yeah. But. And yeah, so at the very end, we like had the cake and he fucking, he dropped it. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So I want to ask, how did you guys form 2Hype? What was the idea behind it? And what are you guys trying to build with that? Yeah. So it definitely goes pretty far back, actually. Um, like when I first moved out, it was like me, Chris and Zach all moved in together. And then we were, people would call us like the 2K house, you know, eventually had more people join the group or move into the house. And we were mm-hmm. like, we don't want to be the 2K house. Like we want our own name. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's 2K, like NBA 2K, 2K. So then we were like, well, like we'll be the, we'll be two hype. And then it wasn't until like a year or two later that we like started the group channel, like doing that once a week video. And we were all just like, yeah, that sounds lit. Like let's make it like everyone already knows us. Like as a group, we all make videos together. Like, why don't we just yeah. make like a super fire one for the main channel? And then that's kind of like where it went. Cause at first, like when we first just like, we just wanted a name for like our house. Our mm-hmm. group. Yeah. But you guys were just doing 2k content. Yeah. We were just starting to get into like IRL basketball. Cause yeah. we, that your, the house you visited the first time we like that one had a basketball court in yeah. it or the half basketball court. So it was like, mm-hmm. once we moved in there, it was like a lot easier to make like real life basketball content and yeah. like still did 2k at the time. But yeah. Yeah. And then I guess like, um you know future plans like really we're just focused on just making like one dope you know video a week got got some plans under the wraps but for the most part like nothing too crazy we're just like trying to stay consistent yeah which is always like really tough in youtube so just staying yeah. consistent i'd also like to say how was it like to meet rick ross because that was one of the funniest things i had that ever shit seen was, bro, when, that- when that man said <laughs> he said i just made a like what did he? He's, oh, I had an inspiring bro, miss. I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, <an> inspirational miss. <laughs> bro, that was the most random shit I've ever seen, bro. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm dude, scrolling was... through social. I might have been looking at one of your guys' stories, and I'm like, they're with fucking Rick Ross. Yeah, he put us on his story, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no. I'm like, way, there's what no the hell way. Is that so happening? how does how does that how does stuff like that happen? So. That was his alcohol brand, like, had an opportunity. Bel Air, we right? Like, yeah, our management was like, do you guys want to fly to Atlanta to go to Rick Ross's house and, like, do a video with him? And we're like, yeah, like, that sounds fucking lit. Like, <laughs> yeah, uh, Rick why Ross, not? What the hell? Like, that's a legend. And then, bros, this man has the biggest house I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, like, hell yeah, He has I the bet. biggest house in the entire state. Like, I think it's like 200 plus acres or something. I don't know, but wow. bro, did you guys you, just go straight to the court? Yeah, so like, okay. bro, you literally like pull into his house. He has like a, um, you drive in and there's like two lakes and like there's literally like a Hollywood sign. Like I forget what his saying is, or like what this it's thing just is his called. own. Yeah, bro, you go like past <laughs> two lakes. You keep driving down. There's like a bunch of trees. He has like 
hella horses. There was some other type of animal that was kind of crazy. I don't know what the fuck it was. I forget. But, like, you literally take, like, a three-minute drive just to get to the house. And it was, like, the most massive house. And then we kind of skirted. We didn't go in the house or anything. We went to the basketball court. Well, actually, we did go to the house. Sorry. We went to the basketball court. And then, like, they were, like, we had to wait, like, two hours. Yeah. And then we went into his garage and gym. And we kind of just sat out there. And then we saw it. His pool, bro, is bigger than my basketball court. It was really? the biggest pool I've ever seen in my life. It was like a Great Gatsby pool. Like a Vegas pool. Yeah, Vegas pool. Like, it was dis- it was so dirty. But <laughs> it was massive. Yeah. Was, like, insane. And then, bro, he this man shows up so late. Like, we're just on the court. Like, bro, where is this dude? Like, what's going on? He pulls up, like, in his golf cart, like, just smoking. Yeah. And he just, like, comes onto the court. And he's just like, I'm here to inspire. He's just taking all these random Instagram stories. Hell like, yeah. And then, like, Cash goes up to him first. He's like, big fan of your music. Like, listening forever. And he's like, oh, thank you. And then, bro, he literally, like, had a full video plan. Like, we could do so many challenges, whatever. And then, like, we, we just get straight into it. Like, all right, we don't know how long this dude's going to be here. And we start doing our three-point contest. And, like, I go first. I fucking do ass. And he's just, like, clowning me or whatever. <laughs> and, like, he just starts randomly taking shots during it. He's like... If I'm here and your girl's at the game, I'm shooting it. In- and then he just breaks it. He's like, inspirational miss. <laughs> bro. Oh and he just, like, okay. and then he also left after, like, 20 yeah, minutes, right? Bro, he was there for, like, 10 <laughs> minutes. And then, like, he, he does his shots. And then, like, we're all just, like, chatting. And we turn around. And he's literally, like, outside the basketball court getting onto his golf cart. And he's literally, like, stay warm, fellas. And he just dipped after, Whipped like, 10 out minutes. Whipped out that motherfucker. He was Bro, yeah. he was lean back. Like, bro, yes, he, he was literally like, <laughs> "Stay warm." We were like, "What does that mean? Like, is he going to the bathroom?" And then it was. Then so we turn, bro, and we look at Jeff, and Jeff's holding his mic, and he's like, "I don't think he's coming back." Yeah, bro, <laughs> bro I back. just remember all you guys being like, "Damn, I don't think he's coming back." What, yeah. do, we, dude, what do we do? Do we end the video? <laughs> we're like, dude, that was one of Damn. the funniest things it was I had seen. Though. That's actually iconic. Yeah, and then yeah. I learned he's known for that, for just, like, dipping. Oh, <laughs> like, I didn't know. <laughs> he's he's awesome. a busy dude. Give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, he busy. just went to his crib. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. And then, bro, when we, were, when we were leaving, like, he was in his front yard just, like, drinking champagne, I think, doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> what, what a legend. Crazy. But you've been in the YouTube game for a while, though. I have. Like, it's been a while. Like when when did you start though? Because I know didn't you start in middle school? Yeah, so I think my I created the Jesser channel in 2012, but I had other channels before that where I, we would upload skits. So maybe like 2010, like maybe it was like 10 or 11, I started it. But like, we were just doing hella skits, and then we like we privated all them because kids from school like found them and they were like, uh, we were so it was, it was yeah. embarrassing. Bro. Oh, it is. Man. It's Especially embarrassing. Back in the day, like it's yeah. embarrassing. And they yeah. were like YouTube skits, wasn't skits. cool yet. Yeah, but so I I wish I didn't do it, but we privated all those old videos. But wow. yeah, and then like James would make videos like when I was even younger because like my dad is like a movie producer, so we had like cameras oh, around and it was like yeah yeah I mean my dad's a movie producer, so yeah. it was like. It's kind of like a natural yeah. like progression That's there. sick. That's dope. I did not know about that. Mm-hmm. So what did, what did your mom do? So my mom, back in the day, she started her own pet toys company. Okay. And now she's just kind of like does her thing. Like she, she lives in Atlanta now. And she has like a garden just in the public park that she just like adds to. And she's like an artist. So she just like That's has like a nice little area that she just like plants trees and art projects into. That's fire. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. I like that. That's dope. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I remember artistic. I remember there was a time, I think it was probably the first time I went over to the Yorba. No, it wasn't at the Yorba Linda house. It was at the other house. And Where was that one at? This after Yorba Linda. Calabasas. Yeah, it was the Calabasas, Calabasas house. I remember there was some something we were doing, and I remember you FaceTimed your mom. And <laughs> she said the funniest shit. My mom's I, wild. Bro. Dude. Your mom is hilarious. Every time I've ever seen your mom make some type of cameo <laughs> in something, she is the funniest person Hell in yeah. the in the world. Bro, like, she stresses me out. <laughs> if if she watches this, Jesse's mom, you're hilarious. You Hell need to yeah. be in more videos. 
Yeah. Hop in the Christmas video Dude. next year. <laughs> and my mom is like, I feel like I, I used to be way more of a troll. And like, I 100% get it from my mom. Like, she she's pranked me so many times. Like, <laughs> Dude, she did one prank to me when I first moved out with Chris. Like, I um I did a prank video on her at this website called like Peter Answers, and I did this whole like ghost prank thing to her. And basically to retaliate, she hired like a stripper actor girl or whatever as a fake cop. And like the fake cop came to the door and was like, you hit and ran. And, like, you're being arrested. Like, you're going to have to go to jail. And, like, I don't know. I'm 17. I don't, like, a cop's talking to me. Bro. Like, I don't notice that it's this hot cop. Like, I'm yeah. just, like, I'm fucking <laughs> going to jail. Like, I didn't hit yeah. someone. Like, and then all of a sudden, like, I'm, like, shitting myself. And she, like, well, I don't know. She's in the house now. Like, uh, she walked in with me. And I'm just, like, all of a sudden, music starts playing. And she starts dancing. And, my, and then, like, Chris and Zach are, like, come out of nowhere. Like, you got pranked. And I was, like, what the fuck, guys? And they're, like, dude. dude bro, bomb. that's what that's what it was, too, for the video we did. It was a prank. You had to call your mom and tell her you got someone pregnant or something. And she was just, like, ah, Jesse. Dude, it was so, dude, that was so legendary. So that's where you think you got your little, like, the little prankster vibe from. That's yeah, fire. I like that. That's so your pops a movie producer? Yes. <laughs> wow. So does it, well crazy. okay. It do you ever hit him up for advice on anything when it comes to like videos? Because mm-hmm. obviously Oh yeah, definitely. He like knows I love stuff. just like I mean his process is a million times different. Crazy. Like, but like I love just like hearing him talk about like the shows or the movies and stuff that he does because yeah. he's done like he said some crazy ones. Like he did um, one of the Rocky movies. He did no shit. Really? Creed movies. Like he did Wedding Crashers. Holy wow. shit! Like Four Christmases. A bunch of ones. Like an iconic I movies. Like, what? Iconic movies. Yeah, dude. Like he's legendary with it. And like growing up, like I remember, I got to spend a whole month in this country called Bora Bora. Yeah. It's like Tahiti, like yeah. super nice, yeah. where it's like those hotels, like on the water. Insane. Yep. And like he was filming Four Christmases there, and I was like, I bro, I got to just go for like wow. a month. Like that was the littest thing a kid could ever do. Hell especially, yeah. And it was during school. Like it was it's so like cool. a dream vacation, man. Yeah. What for a month, dude. That's so sick. I. Did not know that's what your dad did. That's so cool. Yeah, the only bad I mean, thing is because he'll be like away for just yeah, that, like pretty much like the whole year, yeah. especially now because it's like really expensive to do movies in America. It's like way cheaper to do it in like um, I think Eastern Europe or like Turkey, uh, those type of countries. So he like he's just been in Europe. Oh now. wow, yeah. I didn't know years. that. So people fly out to go film movies in other countries because it's cheaper, mm-hmm. like budget wise. Yeah. Wow. The budget and like the rules and different things so interesting was that a thing when you were a kid as well or more as you got older where he was in more like foreign countries as i got older okay do more movies in foreign countries interesting what do your parents think about everything you're doing right now yeah they're definitely like super proud of everything like they always tell me like they're just hella proud of like everything that's happened and yeah i think it's like yeah i think it's just like they can't the like they're just super happy about everything like that it's been successful and they're and they're just very like happy uh, and like very proud of, like where parents. were they supportive when you like f- first started out mm-hmm. yeah, yeah definitely like because it would be like for christmas i'm like bro i need like elgato like <laughs> yeah, yeah. I need that. yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> please like that's all i want and yeah like super supportive and then good especially too like when i wanted to like tell them i was like i don't want to go i was like first i was like i don't want to go to college and they were yeah. like ah like they were pretty cool with it. And then, like, I was like, I don't want to go to high school anymore. And then, like, my mom was like, oh, yes, like, you should definitely, like, uh, get your GED, which is, like, you take a test and then you finish a year early. Because she wanted to move to Florida. And wait, she was, wait, like, you did that? Yes. I did not know that. Mm-hmm. I didn't go senior year because I took the wow. GED. Were you, were you already, Maybe. like, making YouTube, like, money on YouTube during mm-hmm. that time? Yeah, I was probably making like 10k a month. Wow. So you were just kind of like, high yo, school? that's pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that is crazy cuz like I'm fresh out of high school. I might have made like a couple thousand and I'm like, holy shit. Oh my god, it's insane. Like I didn't like, even realize like I didn't the only thing I ever did with my money when I first got it was buy 2k packs. Like when I moved out with Bro. Chris, like I didn't have a car. I know. Or I had my like my mom's old car. And I, like, I had, like, one pair of shoes. And I was just, like, I didn't buy anything. I didn't have any jeans. Like, all I would do is just sit in that room all day and play, yeah. like, 2K <laughs> and, like, Counter-Strike. I gained hella weight. Like, that first year, I didn't spend any money. And then 
when I moved to that second house, I, I went on like the Go app. And I started buying sneakers. I was like, I can just keep buying these. Like, I just Hell bought yeah. so many. Hell yeah. How, how did you? <laughs> it's been downhill ever since. I, was, <laughs> I wish I was as frugal as I was. Yeah. So like when you first started making money, though, did you like realize like, oh, shit, like I got to pay taxes now. Like because when I when I first started making money, I I was lucky enough to have somebody around me like mm-hmm. saying, yo. You need to go get an accountant. You need to go, you know, figure this shit out. Otherwise, you're going to fucking jail. Yeah, dude. I didn't know anything about taxes or, like, anything. And I was definitely, like, a year too late on my first paying taxes. But thankfully, I didn't spend any money. So, yeah. effort. so I just, like, it wasn't – I had, like, the money to finally pay, to pay the taxes or whatever. But, yeah, no, like, you don't learn any of that stuff in yeah. school. You don't learn no. anything about taxes, anything about, like – yeah. You wouldn't have known if you did senior year either. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, bro, (laughs) like, all the real world stuff, like, it's been such a learning curve. Like, learning how to, like, do all these, like, adult things. It's, like, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I I didn't go to school my senior year either, so I do feel like there's probably certain things that might have missed out on learning, too. Mm -hmm. And also, they just don't teach you enough in school, too. Like, Well, I mean, my thing is, is, like, If you, if let's say we're in a class in high school, Mm -hmm. right? Like right now we're a senior in high school and we go open a textbook about who knows what could be marketing, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm in a marketing class, bro. Chances are that book is from like 2003. (laughs) Yeah, bro. Like bro, this is is a totally different time than what marketing was because i was in high school my marketing teacher would be like tristan get off your phone you're always on your phone and she's and i got a couple hundred thousand followers mm-hmm. on instagram at this time and i'm like like i'm selling shout outs yeah, during bro, on bro boomer. Look, <laughs> i'm making money in her class you're like and shit she, i'm marketing right now i'm literally i'm like i'm not trying to learn about how mcdonald's first started marketing in 19 whatever it's 2000 yeah marketing is yeah. so different now like it's you know so they it's they don't teach you like i mean you know it's like real life real life mm-hmm. shit like taxes um they don't teach you how to like real estate how to how to yeah. like pay the l- less amount of tax like little shit like you that. have to teach yourself like it's i mean you thankfully know? like it's definitely tough to like, it took me a lot of re- years to realize like, okay, the only way I'm going to learn about these things is like through like podcasts, books. So it's like investing a lot of time into mm-hmm. like, that, like that shit sucks, bro. Like reading yeah. and stuff. Like, oh, thank yeah. God there's audio books. Yeah. I'm not trying to do that shit. Yeah, bro, we, got, we, we, got, like, we got YouTube, bro. Yeah, YouTube. Exactly. Like, I, bro, I'd be watching the finance channels. Like, that's how I learned like from YouTube. Like, it's like, yeah. School, if I enjoyed reading, I would have just finished, finished senior year. <laughs> <laughs> reading sucks. Yeah, bro. I, uh. <laughs> I wasn't, I was not a reader. I didn't, I don't think I read, you know, like in middle school, you're in class <laughs> and everyone has to read out loud and shit. Yeah. I didn't hey, read one page in middle school. Green Age and Ham was cool. After that, it just started going down. Yeah, that's cool. too much. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, did you like blow up on Instagram? You blew up in high yeah. school. Yeah. How yeah. was that? Like, so, were yeah, people like so treating you different or like, would you, bro, how was that? You wouldn't even... You don't even understand, bro. It's the opposite of what you would think, I feel like. I feel like you would think that people thought he was really cool, but most people were at Wait, did Drake comment on one of your pictures while you were in high school, too? Yeah. Oh, shit, bro. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, I got to... It's kind of wild because, like, you know, we started doing the crazy layup videos. Mm -hmm. But the first video to really blow up was me crossing my teacher. I hit my teacher with a crazy sham guy. (laughs) He did a somersault. (laughs) Shout out to Mr. Gallo. I fucking love that guy. (laughs) One of the realest, like, best teachers I've ever had in my life. Like, hands mm-hmm. down. Like, after I... And after, he did him dirty like that. But but, he, <laughs> but the thing is, though, is Gallo, like, he he knew he went viral for getting his ankles broken. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Shit happens. But he was... He came to me and he said, you know what, T, if this is going to help you to get some exposure, to get a college scholarship, that's all that I care about. That's awesome. And I was like, you He's are... Real a fucking real one for that because i was not expecting him to say that to Mm. me that's goaded bro that's a rare rare teacher and you know it it happened on a friday right so Mm. i crossed him up on a friday after school um and i posted it uh you know like that night or whatever 
over the weekend is when it went viral. Mm -hmm. So I'm emailing him trying to say, hey, Mr. Gallo, I'm so sorry. This video is number one on SportsCenter. This video (laughs) is everywhere. And I get no response. So I go to school early. You're like shook. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You're going to be pissed. Bro. (laughs) Dude, I went to school early that Monday. I went to his classroom and he wasn't there. And I'm like, there's no way he didn't show up. (laughs) But he showed up. He was down the hall in the printer room. And he comes walking down the hall. He's like, oh, Mr. Celebrity. And I'm like, damn. And that's when he told me what I just told you. That he's goaded, bro. That's yeah. all, you took it so well. Yeah, but so <laughs> that's, that's kind we of... We made it up to him. We took him on a shopping spree. After. Oh, yeah. We took him on a shopping <laughs> spree. Definitely. Um, that was when I was started making money on YouTube, though. Mm-hmm. Not right away. It was like a year later. Yeah. Or something. <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's kind of how I started on Instagram is like that video. And then we did, you know, I'm thinking in my mind, marketing, how can I... Um, keep all these people that are coming to my page how can i make them follow me and want to stay mm-hmm. somebody started posting crazy layups those were going crazy started off. that was a trend bro, bro it's like, still bro. a trend basketball like it's world, still like, a trend ever bro. Since, like you started that like you just see so many more crazy layups all the time now like well, it it's like <laughs> crazy bro look how many like it's cool i think it's cool i don't hate it at all i think it's cool look how many people have dedicated instagrams to posting like crazy layups. Mm-hmm. They're crazy. Like, there's things. trick shot people that do crazy layups now. Seeing this stuff in China and everything. That's oh, like, where it's it, like. It can be. Oh, yeah. It, it's so crazy when you see this in foreign countries. Like we're, we see it, some kid shooting on like a milk basket or something in like India. And well, the, just the, does a double 360. Yeah, it's bro, like. Bro, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. The one day that I was like, holy shit, this is actually going to be something is when I got a video I was tagged in. Some kid was filming his friend in the middle of a jungle, and there's a hoop. Like, <laughs> I'm no bullshit. There's a hoop, like, hammer and nail <laughs> in into a tree, jungle? into a tree, bro. And this dude's filming, and he's like, I forgot what he said. He's like, Hey, Billy, why don't you hit a crazy layup today or something? And then he goes and hits it. And I'm like, Bro, this is in the middle of the jungle in Africa somewhere. This is wild. It was viral. So, <laughs> it, was, it was a trend. Yeah. So once we started to like realize the crazy layups was like, okay, this thing, like every one of these is going viral. It was yeah. crazy. Like the, I'm telling you like the first like 20 were like sports center every single time. And I'm like, all right. Bro, they were, they're always insane, bro. And like, bro, I just got to say this man, Tristan is the most dedicated person I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. This, like you were literally like. I've never not hit a trick shot I said I was going to hit. And, like, bro was on my balcony, like, trying to shoot a bounce shot across the entire yard for, like, five hours. I was, like, after, like, 30 minutes, I was, like, 40 minutes. I was, like, Tristan, bro, I'm going inside, bro. <laughs> and you just, like, you stayed out there. It was dark. Like, when you were, like, and you said that to me, and I was, like, oh, he's fucking serious. Like, he's really not well, going to quit <laughs> until he hits bro, this. Bro, I, I don't know. It's, like, with these trick shots, <laughs> You're bro. You're insane. Like, you don't stop. <laughs> the one thing that pisses me off more than probably anything is leaving the gym in on like a miss it's so oh fucking annoying like <laughs> yeah, I, to you, you're like bro Jason, we gotta wrap I, this shit i, I, I hate it to too home. so i hate it too <laughs> perfect example the other day me and trent are filming this crazy layup video um and we were probably doing it for four hours and it's a very <laughs> specific one because i was jumping off of a pole doing a double 360 between the legs, like double well, between tiring. the legs, 360, and then throwing it off the pole. A it pole? Ha- like a skinny pole? Yeah. yeah. And How it has to feel? bounce and then go in the hoop. Have you posted that one? Yeah. Yeah, I think I Oh, my Let God. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just like, dude, there's right no now. way I could do that. Like, dude, Bro. your dedication is for trick shots is unmatched. It was so frustrating because, bro. This one right here. I gotta see this. Oh, let me turn it down. This one off the wall and then hit it off the pole. Bounce. That absurd. And I, I mean, it and always blows my mind. Bro, really. so the so. thing with that is I had a concert to go to and I was like <laughs> I was like, fuck dude, we gotta finish this shit by, <laughs> by this yeah. exact time. Or I have to leave. Did you make it? <laughs> uh so <laughs> here, I'll I'll break it Keep down. Going. I'll break it down. So it's a Sunday. Okay. 
the gym closes at 6 p.m. Trent needs to leave at 5. Mm-hmm. We get to like 5. Trent's like, hey, my Uber's here. I got to go. Trent leaves. I get somebody else to film. Just some random dude at the gym? Uh, Sergio. Oh, Sergio. Ser- okay. Sergio was filming. Um, But there's a lot of parts to this video. Like someone's got to toss me a, a fucking skateboard <laughs> while the camera's facing this way. So people don't Wait, see do me. Toss the skateboard every time, like <laughs> damn there. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Like like a couple a couple bro. times when I'm not paying attention, the skateboard would smack me in my ankle. Me like, too. For real. <laughs> so like, um. Anyways, six o'clock comes. They sh- they sh- shut off the lights. We leave. I'm pissed off, bro. You haven't hit it yet. I didn't hit it. I was there for four or five hours. I did not hit it, and that shit pisses me off, bro. I don't know why, but it's just like. <laughs> How I mean, am I gonna five hours? Bro, how like am I gonna do to something show. for five hours and I'm going home at the end of the day and Without it's it. not done? And I'm like, bro. So, anyways, I'm like, first thing I'm doing tomorrow morning, I'm waking my ass up and I'm coming <laughs> straight to the gym. I thought you were gonna say you broke into the gym. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll get it. We'll tell you something about that too. <laughs> so, I get back to the gym the next morning and I'm like, I don't care if it takes me all day. <laughs> so, we're going boom, boom, boom. <laughs> For another four hours hits. I hit it finally. I'm like, all right, cool. We can leave. Next day, I'm catching a flight to mm. here, to L.A. Right. So I'm like, I need to hit this shit. So I, I hit it or whatever. But like, it just pissed me off the first day because I spent five hours attempting to do it. And I'm leaving without hitting it. And yeah, I'm but like, mind well, you. I also, <laughs> oh, go ahead. The, the second day we're filming this, I'm on like an hour of sleep exo- <laughs> i'm like falling asleep while filming you this. look like a zombie <laughs> you i also am like damn i don't know why like the, I'm, i just <laughs> went to a concert so like my legs all messed up and tristan has a pulled groin while we're oh. filming this video so it was the worst bro, bro, hold on worst filming experience ever <laughs> I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Day two comes around, bro. I am <laughs> sore. <laughs> that morning I woke up, I'm like, nah, bro, I, I need to. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I need to stretch. So that layup was actually the most painful layup I've ever had to do. <laughs> or the trick shot video I've ever had to do. Um, but yeah, anyway, so you you got to witness that at your house. Yes. I'm hitting this trick shot. Dude, no, and also, can we just say, like, about why it was so wild? It was like, you did a video, like, what, like, level one to 100, like, layups for trick shot. It was one to 100 layups. Yeah. And then, like, for the final layup, you were like, all right, over full court shot, balcony 360 mm-hmm. between. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, it was like, we were doing the YouTube video, and, like, each, all the other levels didn't take long. And then you spent, like, five hours on the final level, and you were like, I'm also making this, like, a vertical clip or for, like, an Instagram or whatever. Yep. But it was like, I'm like, this man had no plan to do a trick shot for yeah. that many hours. It's just like, you were like, all right, this is what I'm doing for the next five hours. Just on the whim. Like, I tried it. Now I need to hit it. Literally, bro. I think you nope. might have been <laughs> up on the balcony with me 40 minutes in. Jesse's like, bro, I got to go back in. I'm like, it's all right, bro. Like, go ahead. But I'm like, I'm not. I, I told him, I said, bro, I'm not leaving your house. And it's already dark out. Yeah. I, was I might have hit this shot at like 2 a.m. I don't even remember. It was it so was, late. It was late. Um, and I remember walking back in the crib afterwards and they're like, oh, you finally hit it. Everyone's in like their pajamas and shit. I'm yeah, like, bro, damn, you. my bad, y'all. <laughs> hey, I respect it. Yeah. Cause like I'll do the trick shot videos too, but like if we don't hit a shot for like an hour, I'm like, nope. <laughs> like yeah. it's not, I mean, sometimes we're really close, but it's like but after an hour, like, bro, I, like, I don't know how you go for multiple hours. Like I get sore, right? Yeah. That's what I'd be one. I don't Man. know how he does that either. I don't know, man. I'm, they, I'm sorry think I, you're just built different. Dude. You really are. <laughs> I don't know, man. But yeah, so that's that's kind of you know how it started on Instagram was the trick shots. Um, and then this guy right here is like, hey, why don't you start a YouTube channel? Hmm. And I'm I'm thinking like, man, this guy's crazy. I'm not trying to be a YouTuber, man. Like, why would I? And you want like, so you wanted to be a Hooper, and then it all went viral. And then you, what was like, bro? When yeah. it started going viral, you're like, all right, I want to do like social media, or it's kind of just like, I, I want to keep going viral. And- I realized I wanted to start doing this, um, because I've filmed videos my whole life growing mm-hmm. up, like on an iPad or whatever, like just, um, I just kind of realized like, yo, I'm making like decent money right now. Like, but I also have this opportunity to play college basketball. Do I go get a free education or do I keep 
building this business up because we were growing like it, I was posting the most random YouTube. I was like, how to jelly, how to do a jelly layup, like <laughs> shit like that, like tutorials or whatever. Bro, we were doing weirder like, shit than that too. We were doing like eating. We'd be like, let's mix this stuff up in a cup and drink it. We were doing weird just shit. Some for weird videos. shit. I didn't even. I didn't even know what <laughs> I was how doing. You start. You're just doing <laughs> but, some weird shit. <laughs> But the subscribers were growing, you know, it was like 10K, 20K, then 50K. Then all of a sudden we're getting close to 100 and we're like, no fucking way. And then we get to like 200K and we're all, we're filming on our iPhone, bro. We don't even have a camera yet. Mm-hmm. I think the first time coming to Yorba Linda, we didn't even have a camera. We might have had like a camera. I think we got one maybe because of the fact that we were going there and we were like, we, we, can't, can't, like, we, were like, yeah. we can't look y'all lame. with cameras? Yeah, yeah. We, were, we can't look <laughs> yeah. lame. We're about to be out here. But, bro. Coming to your guys' house at, like, 200K, I think it might have been, was it Vlogmas? It was Vlogmas. Oh, my God. It was our first one. Because you told us to do it, I think. (laughs) Yeah. Vlogmas is crazy. I was editing my own videos. Yeah, dude. So... I was in that front room. Remember the little curtain that you guys would close? Yeah, Uh, yeah. you was... (laughs) Bro, I swear, like, whenever, like... You have any spare time, even like back then and now, it's like you're either like editing a thumbnail or like like you're always on the laptop. Yeah, bro. some shit. Yeah, <laughs> so that's crazy. But people people don't know that like us coming there, we had no idea. Even though we had like two hundred thousand subscribers, we really didn't know what we were getting ourselves into. Like we were making money, like it was cool. I decided not to go to college, but mm-hmm. when we came to your house. That was a life-changing moment, I think, for <laughs> both of us because, I mean, you guys didn't have to allow us to come over. Like, you know, that was like, that was some real shit, like pulling up to your house and you guys just letting us sleep there for like a week. I've never heard of something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that house, we definitely like had a very like, anyone could stay here. We had like, there's a hell of people that would like stay for a minute. I mean, yeah, like, bro. Like, even, just, I mean, y'all, y'all were so, like, if, if y'all weren't hella cool, we'd probably been like, all right, after like a day or two, like, even like, some shit like yeah. letting me be in the presence video, bro. That was one of the, at the time in like even my music career, that was one of the craziest things that ever happened to me. Yeah, you I, got like all the, the singing ones, the, right? Y- dude, the day <laughs> after that, I remember my <laughs> song going up like 20,000, and I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? Like, it was one of the craziest things ever. In yeah. my whole career. Yeah, bro. But it, it it just goes to show, like, you didn't have to do that. Like, you didn't have to bring us in and Mm-mm. show us. And, like, when I'm asking questions, like, you didn't have to do any of that. But you guys did. And, like, we really appreciate that Dude, shit. Hell yeah. Like, gosh, like bro, I, yeah, for real. I don't, I don't think we would be where we're at now if we didn't take that trip to the Yorba Linda house. No. Dude, that was dope. I mean, yeah, I, I wanted to be like, bro, I'm trying to do, like, an Instagram video with you. Like, I was trying to yeah. learn from you, too. Like. That was that was so sick. Yeah, yeah. We, I feel like we've just been homies ever since. Just like yeah, literally. Bro. Ever, ever ever since then, it's been like whatever. You need something, I got you. Yeah, mm-hmm. like type exactly. shit. But yeah, so we we really appreciate that shit. We learned so much, so much shit we didn't know about YouTube. And I mean, it kind of changed the trajectory of shit. Like even let's say when we were just at your house for this last Christmas video, it's like fuck you we see what jesse's doing like <laughs> yeah we got to turn this shit up a little yeah. bit like yeah, this I is also crazy say, like uh for the people listening like you don't need a, a huge team that's no to, like no. kill it with youtube too yeah like, you could kill it with like yourself just on by yourself game literally pc whatever yeah yeah but it's just it's crazy because we got to see that mm-hmm. yeah exactly you know? we see that and we're like okay that that's something we could try to incorporate into this team as yeah, well where it's just like we Maybe we take this up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, take inspiration. Yeah. No, for real. We definitely, like, when we see the shit that you're doing, it, like, we go back home and we're, like, motivated, like, damn, we gotta gotta fucking try to do that (laughs) shit here because, I don't know, I've just... That's just how I feel. Yeah, bro. That's... It's... It's really... It really is inspiration. I know you don't... That's not how what's going through your head, probably. You're not like, what I'm doing is inspiring. (laughs) Because, obviously... You're not going to think like that, but like it really is because like when you see I went from watching you in like what 2016 or something like that Mm -hmm. till now, it's like the most ridiculous thing ever when you see this now. Like I remember watching you just freaking out opening like packs or something. Oh my God, yeah. So it's just like it is inspiring. It really is. Yeah, that definitely that means a ton for both of y'all. Like, yeah, that's really I really appreciate it. Yeah, but it's 
it's for me like it's hard to trust people mm-hmm. in this in this type of a business so like you know you fu- like just let us come stay at the crib for the week but like how how is it for you like i know a lot of people around you start youtube channels and you like it literally mm-hmm. just by them being in your videos helps them grow and stuff like how how do you trust people to like not come around and use you i mean simply like a thing uh you know like i've learned over time because like, uh, i mean i've always wanted to like especially like coming up on youtube like when i was in high school i was like bro like mitch you need to get on this like yeah make a channel like i like I always want to, it's so much more fun, like, especially even, like, with two, like, being in a group and, like, doing all of this together than, like, by myself. So, it's just, like, I always want, like, all the homies, like, I want everyone to do, like, super successful on their channel. Like, I want to, like, I don't know, I just always want to, like, help the homies, like, mm-hmm. do well, like, the people that are close to me. So, just always, I don't know, I just always have that, like, want to, like, help my boys or, yeah. like, whatever yeah. they need. Have you ever had, like, someone ever come around and you're like, yo, like, I might have to get this guy out of here eventually, like... Um, I mean, that yeah, it's just, like, over time, you, like, see, like, especially when you're with people, like, over time, like, the more you know someone, like, the more you, yeah. like, see their true, true. colors, or, or a lot of times, it's just, like, won't match up, like, some, especially, like, it's, like, me trying to get, like, a homie to do YouTube, and it's, like, if they're, like, I can try to get them to do it and, like, help them, but it's, like, at the end of the day, it's, like, if they're not passionate If they don't want to do it, yeah. it's not going to work. Gonna it's work. never going to yeah, work. It's, yeah, it's, it's, like, that's something yeah. I've learned a lot, a lot, is because, like, I always be like, oh, you should do YouTube, you should do YouTube, like, I love YouTube. But then it's like I gotta realize like not everyone loves YouTube and making videos like the yeah. way I do. So it's like that's something I've definitely like learned over time. Yeah, because sure. we've tried the same thing. Obviously, we've tried to get people into certain things, or yeah, and, and they're just if if you don't have the natural drive for it, it's just not it's not gonna yeah, it's go. Like yeah. You're so excited about something. I'm sure yeah, you exactly. probably done it with, like music to the homies. Like, yeah. oh, bro, this is lit. Like, yeah. you gotta try it. Like, when you're so like 100%. passionate about something, it's like. You want your homies to try. Exactly. You want them to do it yeah. too. Like, like, yeah, especially, the, you know, like, you're, you've are you turned it into a business, right? Mm-hmm. So, like, when you're like, yo, telling a homie, like, yo, you can make some <laughs> fucking money off this for having fun. Yeah. It's like, I tried to tell, like, my little brother. My little mm-hmm. brother's fucking 6'3", athletic as mm-hmm. fuck, way more athletic than I. He's 6'3"? He's six, bro, he's dunking easily. Bro, damn. Is um, he still growing? He might be, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's be. crazy. Cause is he one, better than you? He could, be. could be. He could be. He could, could be. Not right, not right now. now. He doesn't. He doesn't try with sports or basketball or anything. <sighs> but if he had like the crazy mindset to like work mm-hmm. like every day towards like basketball or even football, like a sport or something, he is way more athletic than I am, and he could be. He could be something huge, but he he doesn't want to go and film a video, mm-hmm. uh, you know, hooping or whatever. He doesn't. That he's just not passionate about yeah. it like we are. So I understand what you're saying. By you know, you could try to tell a homie like, "Yo, I'm making mm-hmm. money off this shit and it's cool," but if you don't have the work ethic to like run the behind the scenes, like you got to film, yeah, edit, thumbnail. So do it. Um, if you don't have that drive and work ethic passion it might not work out for you i mean it's one of like the oldest sayings in the book you can bring a horse to water but you can't make a drink it's yeah especially because it's not it's that simple it's not like a job where it's just like all right you have to do it's like or it's like you're your own boss and it's like a lot of people can have like trouble like being like all right i'm my own boss for my youtube channel like all right i'm just gonna wake up at whatever time but it's like you got to be like strict on yourself like i have to wake up at seven i have to do this 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 and this and it's like at the end of the day it's like it, I feel like that transition to be able to like put in all the time into something, unless you're super passionate about it, it's going to be so hard when you have to like set your own schedules that like, cause you determine like how hard you you want to work when it's yeah. like you're your own boss. So it's like, mm-hmm. if they're not passionate about it, they're never going to put in the hours. Exactly. That yeah. I, I, that's actually one of the things that I find challenging about like my job or your job is like, if you're, if you're not like locked in you, this all comes back to you. Cause like, mm-hmm. The, for you. you specifically, you have, I feel like it would be a lot of pressure. You have all these employees. If you don't feel like working, they're not yeah, doing anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's mm. that's one of the things I've always found kind of interesting about, like, you, what you're doing. Because it's just, like, people, you have people relying on you now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which, I feel like it's all about, like, the your why. Mm-hmm. It's like, why do you wake up early and go 
to mm-hmm. work. It's like, like I wake up now and it's like, I feel like the pressure of like, okay, I have this like team, like, and it's really like a, a, a YouTube company is like, at the end of the day, like everything relies on me being in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, we're not you have to wake me. up. So it's you like, have I, to show up. Yeah. Like I have to, it's like, I want to get like, it's just like to achieve all my goals. So it's like the pr- pressure to achieve the goals. It's like, okay. It's, it, it makes it easy to wake up. Like yeah. Six yeah, thirty seven, yeah. whatever. The company doesn't ri- can't yeah. run without you. <laughs> like yeah, you can't be like, ah, you know, today I don't feel like doing anything. Everyone else can do it because they can't do shit if yeah. you're not filming something. Yeah, yeah. thankfully like there is a lot to do. That's not oh, for sure. Too with for, them, no, but for yeah, sure. But, but if you were if you were like, like we're, if you were like we're not filming for two weeks, everyone would be like, yeah, they'd be like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where the fuck? What do you mean? Yeah. Like, what do you mean? We we have to do something. Yeah. But that another thing that I've noticed with like. The people around you, though, I don't see one negative person ever no. around. Like it's positive like, eyes only. Like mm-hmm. you, <laughs> like the people you've selected to be on your team, um, in terms of like you know production and filming and everything. Like everybody's so nice, and you just feel the pos posit you know like the positivity. You mm-hmm. feel it. Yeah, it's in all the about room. the vibes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, have you ever had like a negative? Or does, like, negative vibes around you cause you to, like, not perform? Yeah, I feel like just... Or if anyone, that makes like, sense. Yeah, it's, like, the environment you're in, it has to be, like, the right environment. Like, you want to surround yourself with, like, like-minded people. And, like, there has been, like, people where it wasn't, like, necessarily they had, like... Not necessarily, like, a bad mindset or whatever, but, mm-hmm. like, not, like, the same shared mindset of, like, the group. Yeah. So, it's, like, then, and then those people just don't pan out. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. Any t- if someone's like constantly bringing bad vibes, it's like if you're yeah. able to like, control it, then do you, it doesn't do you make feel sense. like do you feel like the people that pull up to your crib to film and stuff, like when they show up, mm-hmm. do they like? Do you feel like they're showing up like excited to be there and like, like let's yeah, I mean, bang this video out, let's get this shit, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely feel like everyone on the team is like super excited. Like we're all like. You know, we all like are trying to hit ten mil together. Exactly. Like, yeah. That's so, that's how you need it to it's be like, together. Like we, like everyone has like we're all like, trying to achieve one goal together. Yeah. Like anytime Tristan hits a milestone, he'll talk to me and he's like, "We we fucking did this shit." Like it's never like I did this. It, it's always yeah. a we thing. No, it takes it takes a team, bro. Yeah, it definitely like, takes a team. It does. Like it's just and it, honestly, it's like so much better being able to share like great moments as people like you love or like people on yeah. your team like i love my team like i love like the people on it like my, my homies like i hang out with them like off camera whatever too mm-hmm. and it's just like being able to share the moments of success is so much better than if it's like just you're by yourself or like yeah it's always way better when you can celebrate like with the squad i more. totally agree bro it's like hey you get yeah you got the whole squad <laughs> to- totally you agree, always bro. Are, like, like i well i try to roll with like you know the people who mm-hmm. were with me before this shit like yeah like really with me before this shit and that's why like you know when i go on trips i'm like fuck it i'll try to bring the boys if i can i'll you know i might have to check the my bank account and <laughs> yeah, see, hey, I respect it. see what fine. we're looking like but <laughs> like deep. you know i when i do shit i try to have everybody with me so we all can experience this shit together because mm-hmm. that like you said bro there's that's a cool feeling bro to like be able to experience shit like with your day one friends, the, the like your homies mm-hmm. that you love and shit, like that shit is like a cool. Like sometimes I go places, maybe by like I I don't even go places by myself, bro. Like <laughs> I I'm like, bro, I'm bringing the homies with. Like, yeah. I don't know, it's weird. I feel I feel Drake had a quote in one of his songs. He's like, if I don't bring my homies with, I feel out of place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like that shit, dead ass. Like I'm like, bro, I'm, I, I feel the same J, way. J Cole said, "If we'll get his first class, if my." My People homies can't, can't sit. sit. Yeah, for real, bro. Yeah, you know who's fucking uh, like RDC World, like seeing their group. Yeah, like, yep. I love that. Hell it's yeah. So it's yeah. so dope. Like the way they move together. Like RDC. they're all the, they're all there at the events. Like I love the way they. Yeah, like, bro. Their group or like even so the, even like the sidemen. Like the sidemen mm-hmm. have been. They've all been friends since they were young. Mm-hmm. Like stuff like that. Like that's that's what you have to be able yeah. to build. It's like you guys are legitimately friends. It's not yeah, just it's, for content. It's a dope, uh, that is that is a dope feeling. It's hard, though, like, if I'm pulling up to Chris Brown's house to go hoop and shit, because mm-hmm. I've recently, over the years, gotten close with Chris, like, I can't bring fucking <laughs> yeah, everybody. Yeah, you, no, you can't always pull up. Yeah, 
Like you can't I, always I can't yeah, pull up to <laughs> we, CB's we're all, We also all understand that type of stuff. Yeah, so there's like certain things where I can't like, Definitely. can't roll 10 deep to yeah. a house that has 24 hour security yeah. with <laughs> ARs sitting out front. Is mm-hmm. that how it, his house is? Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. First time I pulled up to Chris's was wild. Yeah, so you've been what other rappers like have you gone to their houses like i'm so curious so oh. chris brown my house oh yeah Trent's house. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh i've been to my own house man i'm a rapper okay that's, that's how me and trent kind of got friends was making music but Flex. um i don't uh, even know if you i don't that. even know <laughs> I think you told me you rapped once, but I don't know if you ever showed me anything. Yeah, no, I used to I used to cook up. I still make like even on this whole ch- this whole trip to LA, I've probably made like ten ten beats. Oh, you like, made the beats too. So all he makes beats for his videos. So all my beats what? that I use, yeah, all my beats I use in my videos, I make. What? Yeah. Isn't that sick? And no one really Dude, knows. That's wild. That's sick, right? That's I mean, yeah. I mean, Sean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll have that. to show you some on the computer that I've made out here. But um, wait. So do you yeah. have, like? How often do you like lay down some bars, or you just give them all to Trent? Like, are, are no, all your so beats I, are <laughs> no, no, no. So, so Shit, it's not necessarily me rapping on these beats. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll make a beat based off like how I'm feeling. Like uh-huh. looking out at this beautiful view of but, LA. Like, do you ever like? Do you rap still? Like, do you rap on them? Not really, but like, I I do have a studio set up at the house mm-hmm. to be able to do that. There'll be some nights where I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm like, go see if I'm feeling creative in the mind or whatever. But how come you haven't dropped one, or have you? And I just I had I dro- I dropped one <laughs> like maybe two or three you, years you ago. You might have missed it. I on, missed it on SoundCloud. Oh no, no, no! You gotta drop like a music. Like uh, next year, will you drop a a, a music video? Nah, actually, like, y'all got to collab. I really could, bro. Like, <laughs> if if you're on this video still right now, I know for a fact there's one on Spotify. I know there. Yeah, is. I got a I got a song on. S- <laughs> oh, it is on Spotify. Yeah, no. I'm tweaking, bro. It is on Spotify. It's called it "Bet on Myself." That was my song, and I made the beat. And I was like, I really like this beat. I'm gonna try to rap to it. And the first thing that I was coming to my mind, I just started like flowing. But um, I've always had like a little talent to be able to like rhyme and like freestyle like very easily. I just never really did anything with it. Tried to. That was before the YouTube shit. We were trying to be rappers, bro. Like we were <laughs> dead ass thinking like, bro, we're gonna blow up as rappers. Mm-hmm. Like we were getting the most streams in the whole town that we bro, were living bring in. Bring it back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Bro, Do you sick. try to get him to bring it back? <laughs> I mean, I've told him to record songs with me a million times, but it has never happened. Not yeah. not since he started doing YouTube. The yeah. YouTube changed you. Yeah, <laughs> but you <laughs> used to be a you rapper. switched up, low key. Yeah, so I <laughs> make I make beats in my free time. Like, bro, mm-hmm. this is a great vibe right here like behind me when these curtains are up you have a whole view of like you already like, made a beat to this view i've made like, like 10, 10 beats <laughs> <laughs> i gotta hear these after bro I'm, that's legendary yeah, so but copyright in youtube videos you mm. know all about that it's shit it's tough it's tough so i thought i know how to make beats i'll just make my own so i don't get copyrighted no, that's goaded, bro. And fuck it. That's next level. Like, <laughs> it's, know it's, you know that. what's cool is when people comment like, yo, what beat was that? Well, And, and I'll be like, dude, I just cooked that shit. A couple up. of the last like reels he did, you made the sounds for him. Yeah, I've made a couple. I've been dabbling into that a little bit. Like, you know, like the viral TikTok sounds and mm-hmm. viral like Instagram reel sounds. Like, I've been thinking like, why don't I just post my crazy trick shots to my own like sampled shit? And just like try to make a viral sound. That's next level. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That is. Um, that's what I'm, I'm like saying. I'm like in disbelief right that's now. That's cool, right? Have you have you rapped to one of Tristan's beats? I back in the day when we were making yeah, music, a couple together. dozen probably. Yeah, but like, for nothing sure. Nothing really recent. We dropped a mixtape together in high school. So yeah, back we, then, bro, we dropped a full <laughs> mixtape in high school. It's called Paper Chasing. If you can find it, I don't know how the hell you found it. You can't it. find it anywhere <laughs> now. It's gone. Damn. But it was called Paper Chasing. And you know what's really weird is like 
every single song we were just like manifesting like the shit we were rapping about was like you living it right now the shit i was that, living yeah, it literally that's goaded and then, yeah, you, man, know, you manifested that shit, bro. It's crazy. So, like, I used to rap about getting a Tesla and mm-hmm. get, you know what I'm saying? And I, and I finally get the Tesla, and I'm like, bro, this, like, listening to that old song, talking about it, and then getting it is like, this shit's crazy. Dude, please drop a song next year on YouTube. Bro, I know everyone watching it, wants oh, it man. as well. Only if I'm featured on it. Both of you got to be on <laughs> it, bro. <laughs> Dude, man. I think that'd be crazy. I've always wanted you to do that for a video. We do it next December. Bro, and have like your crazy lays like in the music video. Dude, like, put the all music, sudden, put like, the music on trick shot videos bro. to promote the music. Next, yeah. next, next December. There's our marketing. You're if you're dropping 25 videos, one of them, fuck it, throw a random music video in there. Why not? Bro, do a Christmas song. It's the it's like it's the I'm beginning saying. of December. Why you can not, drop one bro? by the end of the why month not? on Christmas, bro. Oh. You can drop like why Tristan's not? presents. <laughs> Bro, this is on the Jesser <laughs> podcast right now. You have to do it. Damn, man. <laughs> well, shit. It's been a hell of a time with Jesser, man. I feel like there's probably so much more we could talk about. Facts. But we've we're probably bring me back. That'll be on number two. That'll Let's be go. on number two eventually. Maybe in the Wisconsin Dells when we're at our. I know. I gotta. I gotta come down to you for once. <laughs> you always yeah. come down to yeah. LA. Yeah. I don't come Wisconsin. Down to no, bro. You come to Wisconsin. We're gonna film some of the craziest videos you've ever filmed. I promise yeah. you, bro. Hell We're going to yeah. blow shit up. We're going <laughs> to shoot shit. We're going to... It's going to be fucking crazy. Blow up some balls. But... <laughs> hell yeah. Literally. Literally. With a samurai sword. Hell, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You have that, right? Wait a yeah. minute. Did you... <laughs> you better figure out how to ship that tomorrow. True. <laughs> True. Yeah, I hold on to that. But, um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well shit we'll wrap it up Dude, Jesse yeah, thank you so much for bro, having me bro thanks for pulling up bro like, like, hell we yeah. pr- definitely shit's appreciate crazy um Young Trench co-host hell yeah my name's Tristan Jass this is the Everyone's Different Podcast thank you guys for watching lighter hey.